my name is Vanessa. Today, in this skill video, I will demonstrate some intermediate nebology, patient prep and care, in addition to a brief vascular protocol of the aorta. First off, make sure your room is well stocked with sanitizing spray, gel for the transducer, and plenty of paper towels. Once the patient is ready in their supine position, prep them accordingly and remove items of clothing covering the area of interest. You want to always use the correct transducer for your exam. This here is a linear probe, and the one that we will be using today is a curvilinear probe. For sanitary purposes, squeeze the gel directly onto the patient. Then, grab the correct transducer for your exam and always locate its marker. The marker should always face you or towards your patient's head. Since we will be doing a brief vascular protocol of the aorta, select the correct presets on the machine. Taking a quick look at the essential knobs, this here is your gain. It will allow you to increase or decrease your overall brightness. Next, you have the pulse wave button, which will allow velocity to be measured in vessels. This large trackball is your mouse pad. And lastly, the comment button will allow you to annotate using the keyboard. Demonstrating a few techniques using the transducer, you can fan the probe, use a heel-toe motion, Likewise, you can also do these motions in the transverse view. Performing the aortic protocol, you will see a large vessel that is dark or sonolucent running horizontally across the screen. Here, you should adjust your depth and focus to the area of interest. To annotate your images, select the comment button and type using the keyboard. Some ultrasound machines come with preset annotations that sonographers can use as well. For your annotations, be sure to include your transducer orientation, such as transverse or sagittal, and the area of interest, such as right kidney, liver, spleen. The annotation example here is the sagittal aorta. Because the aorta is a vessel, we should evaluate its direction of flow by using color doubler. You can also check for its velocity and waveforms by using the pulse wave function. At the end of your exam, Remember to provide care to your patients and assist in wiping away the gel. Communicate that the exam is over and encourage your patient to get up slowly and recover any clothing. Wipe any excess gel off the transducer before using the sanitizing spray. This level of disinfectant is sufficient after use on clean, intact skin. When the patient is recovered, say goodbye and wish them well. Regularly check the supply inventory and maintenance of the equipment. At the end of each exam, clean the bed and prep it for the next patient. Remember to properly dispose of used items, including PPE.